Sophia. Great timing. I just wanted to check in before landing. You met the pilots, right? Say hello. Hey, I'm Carlos. You're right back there. Go on. Do not distract me. Sorry we didn't get a chance to speak at the jetty. And for the, uh, economy travel. It's a miracle she's still airborne. See that by my feet? You know what that is, Miss Everett? That's the sky. Uh, Dr. Everett. And relax. So long as she gets us there and back, tomorrow you can buy a whole fleet. Or at least a floor mat. Just steer. And watch out for clouds. Mia, we're approaching the south shore. Isla Nublar. It's like coming home. Okay, Sam. Let's get you geared up. Look on the table. I left you a body cam. Perfect. That's attached. That camera's connected to my tablet. It's like looking straight through your eyes. Oh, that cabin. Juan, I thought you fixed that door. I did. I found the handle. It's there someplace. Initiando descenso. Okay, Sam. We'll be descending low over the NMS center and landing at the north dock. Should be minimal surf. You and I will take a dinghy to the ranger depot while Carlos and Juan refuel. And don't piss around. Our pilot respectfully reminds us that Isla Nublar is still under quarantine and doing prison time. No es ninguna broma. We've got one hour to enter the lab and recover the genome. Uh, Mia. Once the dinghy's loaded, it's straight back for takeoff, scheduled no later than- Mia! What? Look, they're huge. Okay, okay, just relax. They're not about to- Oh, shit! They're in the gully! Mia, get the shoes! I am, I'm trying! Shit, how many do we have? I don't know, go here, get them all! What, what are you doing? Understand? Where was the rest of Sam, get your parachute. I'm open the locker. It's empty!
fine. Fine, I'll sit on the floor. <sighs> Sam, look around. Let me see where you are. Operations. Good, you're safe in there. I'm in the... Sebo West Service Bunker. I dropped the alarm. They probably heard the siren in Costa Rica. I think my knee is broken. I can barely move. When I landed, my chute got caught and... We need to get a message out. No one knows we're here. I paid a fortune to make sure. First, we need power. Find the breaker room. It's 1967. Mazrani's birthday. Promising. Back to the console. On the wall. See that map? The NMS center is split into sections. Zone A is residents and corporate. Ignore it. Zone D and E are the labs. It's my life's work. But it's not the priority anymore, so forget it. We'll forget that for now. That leaves B and C. Transport. There's a radio tower above the ranger station. If we want to call for help, that's our best bet. Head back to the breaker and activate transport. It's gonna be tough keeping this place locked down. There's not much power. Last thing, the center's massive, so you'll want a nav assist. Check the storeroom. That's it. Attach it to your wrist. Check the arrow on the back of your hand. It'll point wherever you need to be. Okay. When you're ready, head to the atrium and follow the signs. Transport, then ranger station. Whoa. Two years really did a number. At least the signs are legible. You want transport. I think those painkillers finally kicked in. So this used to be the welcome concourse. Keep going. You'll find a way through. brought in yellowfin tuna from the dock. It drove the birds crazy along the coast when they smelled it coming. When we evacuated, we were so lucky. Right after the last boat, the Indominus tore through the track. 
Even if you got it running, it's a death trap. prototype built by InGen. Mizrani wanted to roll them out to staff, but it got stuck in development limbo. That'll let you connect to all kinds of stuff around the center. Panels, computers, plus it turns on things at a distance. Kind of like a remote. The control box by the door. Try it. Cool. Just remember, it takes a few seconds to recharge.
flip the power. That computer. Maybe it's still on the LAN. Try using the VI assist. satellite to the main array. It can't be that hard, right? Just move things. Okay, that's doing whatever that does. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a geneticist, not a comms engineer. Check the diagnostic. Signal. That's fine. That's fine, I know this. The IT guy was a friend, and saw this worldly knowledge. There are signal amplifiers in the station. Adjust them, we should be in business. Downstairs. It's okay, you've got this.
the diagnostic. Alignment. Once more, the control panel. Perfect. It's sinking. Listen, I want to play one of those files you sent. You deserve to know why we're here, what happened, and why I came back. For better or worse. NMS Projects Review, July 10th, 2012. In attendance, Dr. Henry Wu and... and... Oh! Uh, Amelia Everett, computational genomicist. Sorry. Under Dr. Mashir, you're mapping the Velociraptor genome. Tell me about that. Finished, as of this week. Proceeding with protein isolation and live trials. We recently hatched a subject with elevated mesotocin, the social hormone. The AV tests are going well. She's responding to conditioning? Yeah. Yes. So far. Interesting. Forget Dr. Mashir. From now on, you report directly to me. Seriously? <laughs> I mean, yes, doctor. <laughs> you know, you're nothing like I imagined. I just know talent when I see it. Wow. You sound so young. How are we looking? Offline? How can... <sighs> There's no fixing that. If the island tower's down, no matter what we do... Get back to the atrium. I'll... I'll think of something.
Why don't you check out the staff terminal? It's in the storeroom. Huh. The next file repaired. The rise and fall of Mia Everett. Part two. Go for it. NMS Behavioral Genomics Review, June 2nd, 2013. We cover plenty in our weeklies. Is there anything you want on the record? What did Masroni say? Excited by the progress. In fact, he signed off on the operant security measures for- Yes, I knew it! Let me finish for a trial installation here at the NMS Center. He also approved inhibiting the growth of two new assets, providing... They are kept out of public view, just like the last one. No problem. Is that it? No... congrats? The behavioral program... Exists under my supervision. I'm not having this discussion again. You want to lead a team? Then lead. And stop vying for attention. Oh. Let me try this Before you say it, I know. I know, okay? But I've got a plan. Get to the map. So the entire network is down. But all InGen facilities share an emergency backup line. There's a lab back in the States that should still be connected. It's in California. Lockwood Manor. I can open a private channel if you can restore power to the labs. And I appreciate that's a big if. See Zone F at the top of the map? That's the geothermal plant. The entrance is blocked, but... There's a service elevator down from Zone A. Head to the breaker room. Activate residence. Okay. Ready when you are.
While we wait, there's another recording I need you to hear. I'm not proud. Behavioral Genomics Review, July 7th, 2014. Where would you like to begin? Incubation, Thursday. Mesrani was standing right there. Simon has a very tight schedule. I didn't want to distract him. What, with an introduction? A handshake? My name, maybe? He loves our work, the whole department shown. Why does it matter? I deserve it! My work on non-coding identifiers was exceptional. It's supposed to be. This isn't a science fair. Exceptional should be the benchmark. The innumerable projects I manage, they form a paradigm shift in mankind's understanding of the natural world. But you want. A parade for doing your job? Some recognition. Then here it is. Behavioral Genomics Review, July 7th. Where would you like to begin? Was I really asking for the world? Oh, timing. Listen, the plant's underground, so it'll be pitch black. I'm not trying to frighten you. Just to say, if we can do this, we can get through anything.
I cut out, just... Okay. A 
Okay, check the master gauge. The system's through the floor. You want the vapor regulation room. Close by. We need to raise those gauges. We'll look around for anything you can tighten by hand. Valves or cranks. Try to get the pressure up. The allegation is that on May 23rd, you met with Simon Masrani in defiance of the express instruction of your manager. Any response? For the mic, please. No. Okay. The board will look into any misconduct and be in touch if this proceeds to disciplinary. Fine. We're done? Yes, we're done. No, actually, we're not done. I want an explanation. It was a pitch meeting. Simon Masrani wants carnival attractions to impress the masses. He understands neither the nuance nor implication of what I'm trying to accomplish. The damage could be irreparable. To this lab? To the board's whole perception of what- There it is! Perception. <laughs> How everyone sees you. I must have been crazy. When was there ever room at Jurassic World for anyone except Dr. Wu and his black hole of an ego? I don't understand. When you started, there was none of this entitlement. You didn't know my name. I don't know anyone's name. But I recognize your talent. I gave you my time and a place on my team. What do you want me to say? That other people matter. 
that we made a difference to this park, that I made a difference. But you can't. Unbelievable. That's right, sneer and walk out, like always. Whoops. I guess you heard that. Entitlement. Despite everything, he treated me like... You know what? It doesn't matter. At least the water's clearing up. It's fine the stop valve. That'll refill the system. Perfect. Back to the turbine. Let's get you out of there.
set up the link to Lockwood Manor. I can dial in from here. I I'll do the talking. Conditioned upon radio silence. Disable the link and do not call again. Oh no, wait, 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 it's me. It's Amelia Everett. Amelia? You're the engineer. Is Mills out of his mind? I gave him a specific list of personnel. We're trapped. Our plane went down. You've got to send someone. You know that's not possible. Bullshit! Make a phone call. The island's under UN quarantine. You expect me to risk exposure? Losing my work for your lack of foresight? We're going to die! My hands are tied. You understand. I can still get it. The genome. The labs are open, the data's all near. Please. Get everything. Call back in one hour. I'll discuss with you later. Genome lab is past the changing rooms and along the hall. Security's tight, but my key card will get you in. You've got my key card, right? Nope. I've got my key card. Shit. Uh, that's an issue. Uh, uh, see what you can see what you can override with the VI assist. I'll think of something.
Welcome to my late 20s, part 2. You'll have to buzz yourself in. Great. Head through and I'll... Oh, shit. They were tracking you. But as the system evolves, we begin to see order, not entropy. Yet, any claim to predict or control that order is either omniscience or hubris. And that's the end of chapter two. And I'm afraid our time together, um, before I go, any questions? Anybody, any questions? With Mizrani's recent announcement of a Cornetaurus, is it time we saw a ban on genetic engineering? Well, I, you know, I doubt that you could ban genetic engineering any more than you could ban gravity. You know, it's, it's a matter of restraint, I think, and keeping an open dialogue. Uh, and sure, yeah, maybe fewer bioattractions, certainly. Uh, one more question. Yes? Yes? Um, in your last book, you said you predicted the collapse of Hammond's original park. Uh, predicted? No, I was staggered by the level of arrogance. So it was a random chance? Like a lucky guess? <laughs> no, chaos and randomness are emphatically not the same. We find random events, or so-called acts of God, comforting because they average over time. And then we invent luck and karma and imagine that the universe uh, coalesces into some harmonious state that everything balances out. No, life doesn't work that way. It's sensitive and temporal, and the smallest event has the potential to create catastrophic change to hurl us down a terrifying new path, and we'll never see it coming. We'll never know the cause. The only question is... Can we correct it? Exactly. Can we correct it? That's right. Sorry. Um, who are you?
code. Come on. Akiyama. She was meticulous. She would have sent an email. Check the terminals in the office. Decontamination found in bombs. Analysis. All the doors are keycard locked, but I know where you can find a spare. Through there, in the corner office.
There's two sequencing rooms up ahead. Find the data banks and grab everything. about server farms than I do about Euclidean fractals. Get in, find the raptor genome and everything else with my name, and get out. Next. 
our comms. Ugh, I'm gonna find the fuse box. It's down. One of these tunnels. Get back to ops. position if it was anyone else a few years ago i trialed a monitor lizard polymerase to promote parthenogenesis you remember the result blue wait you want blue's dna no samples are kept in cryogenic storage i, I need director authentication i can show you how to get it you'd risk our lives for one raptor this is so much bigger than you, than both of us. What I'm trying to accomplish. This is your chance to make a real difference. Dr. Reverend. Send me the details. Corporate habitation, the vault. I know this is way beyond anything you signed on for. But you need to trust me if we want to survive. Oh, what the hell? Everything's failing. Security. Maglock sensors. They're coming! Am I okay to... Hey, is that a... What is that, a tape recorder? <laughs> wow, my goodness, that's... That's vintage. Uh, you know, there's a new device now called a, a smartphone. 
smartphone? I don't carry one. I like meeting face to face. Yeah, and while I, I certainly appreciate that, um, what if you need to make a call? You know, you're trapped. Uh, it's life and death. What are you gonna do then? I'll survive. Hey, so what do you do? Oh, Mia yeah, Everett. I'm a j uh, journalist. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, from the badge, uh, I thought you might be starting at the park. There are some geneticists who want to make the world safer. Surely you'd want them on the inside, in control? Yeah, and that's exactly the problem. Arrogance. That control is anything other than a variable in a system that inherently defies it. Hey, maybe you could interview one of these geneticists next. Ask them how safe they'd feel trapped and alone with talons scratching at the door. Sorry. Bad habit. Are you okay? Yeah, just... Say one scientist was determined to make a difference, to change the world. What would they have to do? The de-extinction of the dinosaurs wasn't the result of one person. Not Mizrani, not even Hammond. It's the result of a society. A system that lauds technological progress above its own survival. <laughs> a journalist, she says. Um, Miss Everett, who are you really?
here when they needed a mouthpiece for investors. NMS scientists have isolated over 70 transcription factors since July. <laughs> I poured my life into this place. They only ever let me into their clubhouse on express invitation. With their crystal decanters and mahogany wallpaper. Feel free to wreck the place. <sighs> Too late. That door, those vines, can you tear them? That's it. Keep pulling. What the hell? Corporate split into three sections. At least, it used to be. Private suites, the lounge, and the offices. Try to push through, but tread carefully. I don't want you falling through the floor.
offices should be somewhere ahead. authentication console straight ahead. Boot up, scan yourself into the system, and we're done. Override it.
Last step. We've added you to the corporate database. We just need to update the facility-wide system, and you can access the vault. First thing, hop on the main console. And hit confirm and update. Okay, that'll take a second. I guess earlier you heard some of that recording from when I met Malcolm. There's a second half to that story. You caught me, Ian. I started the labs tomorrow. I'm not a geneticist. Uh, which lunatic with a god complex sold you on that idea? You did. The fractal emergence. Hmm. That's strange. I, I thought I wrote that in English. Hey, genomic interdependency is like any nonlinear system. The tiniest change to one little nucleotide could cause, I don't know, a thunderstorm in New York. Or raptors in a theme park. Here, let me back up. I don't blame you. I don't blame anybody for their curiosity. The wonder of discovery is hardwired. We believe that any new tool, any new technology is inherently good. And that's despite every piece of evidence to the contrary. We fill the ocean with plastic. We level rainforests. We destroy the natural world so that we can build attractions to emulate it. We are responsible, all of us for a century of avarice and indifference to the destruction of our home. So, if I'm not complicit, what am I? You're the product. You're a dinosaur. See there? That, that, that's my point. You got my opinion, and now you're marching out? What, that one piece of knowledge ruined everything? Wait, Mia, Mia, Mia. You forgot your recorder. Good job. Where's the... Uh... I went back for my recorder, but... He was never going to tell me what I wanted to hear. That someone like me could still do some good in this world. Forget it. Head to the breaker room. You want to activate the last switch. The vault. incubation, then the behavioral labs.
The Velociraptor has 10,000 protein-creating genes, you know, produced from nearly 2 billion base pairs. My team helped create every raptor asset. We knew every protein and polynucleotide. Blue's DNA contains one unique element. Monitor lizard. <laughs> and apparently that difference is worth risking our lives. The loading bay leads straight to the vault. It's fine. If you take a left, there's another door through test development. Main 
Ultimate observation. This was the heart of our work, where we tested and conditioned the raptors. See outside, those speakers? Using that audio cue, we'd summon them right here to be fed. Kind of like a dinner bell. That terminal on the right wall is the master control. Shutters, security, everything. There'll be a power switch by the window. And onto the console. Okay, 
Vault security is downstairs. Through the door. Uh, nothing is ever easy. You see that security room on the right? Unfortunately, with this ballistic glass, it might as well be on the moon. Okay, okay, recalibrate. This is fine. You see at the back of the room, that elevator? That's how we're getting inside. We'll head down into biomatter processing, then back up into vault security. First things first, the display room, top of the stairs. It's... <sighs> Crap, here we go. It's, um... Two, five... belts your route down. Just need to get it working. Time to do your best impression of a box. Processing. This is where we tagged every scrap of amber, blood, and bone. The vault elevator is straight ahead. Index error? What's that about? And open the 
lock. Cryofluid, Amber. Oh, it's holding the elevator to complete the transfer. Just hit cancel. That'll reset it. Wh what did you do? <sighs> Perfect. Don't touch it. If it locks up, we're screwed. Let's just resolve the manifest. A hunk of amber and some cams. How hard can it be? Hit the release. The door's behind you. Cryo labs or amber processing? Dealer's choice. What do you want to hit first? Applied cryogenics is the only lab in the whole center with a long-term backup. But with no one to maintain it, it's like the Huronian Ice Age in here. Ugh, I'm getting cold just watching. Chemical storage is a few rooms down, past the labs. Just need to crack open these doors. Okay, that's hooked up.
know about that fossilized resin. You'll be able to track down the sample in amber processing. Transfer log talks about sample X450. There's an index machine in the cutting room. Unprocessed. It'll have an electronic tag. It shouldn't be hard to find. Use your EMF reader. Get it through processing. We're good.
The cutting machine's simple enough. Even I could use it. Place it on the belt and follow the screens. And then spectral analysis.
I grew up in Montana. We used to go hiking and fossil hunting. I loved the idea that a life, even an unremarkable one, could leave this permanent impression on the world. Then I learned about Hammond and the park. What he created inspired millions. I wanted that. Not money or fame, but to inspire hope, make a difference. I was nine when I met Hammond. My dad took me to a dig site near Snakewater. I shook his hand. He signed our photo. And it was right then I knew I wanted to be a genetic engineer. To bring these fossils, these impressions back to life. I brought that photo when I started here in the park. I kept it on my desk. But after a while it felt childish. Mia, it's Ian. Uh, you still haven't come back. I'm sitting here thinking, and you know what frustrates me most? And the point I was trying to make is that for all the ignorance and greed that it's taken for our planet to get here, we still haven't passed the point of no return. Not yet. And the way I see it, a course correction would take one of two things. One, a dramatic instantaneous shift in the thinking of nearly everybody on the planet. Let's call that unlikely. So number two, for one person, the right person, to put the future of their species ahead of their own ambition, ahead of their pride, maybe ahead of their life. A leader of industry, a senator, or yeah, maybe a scientist. We don't have the luxury of knowing where our every decision is going to lead. But one thing I do know for certain, real change, the change you're looking for, takes real courage and real sacrifice. I need that. I'm not a bad person, Ian. I know, Mia. You're just trying to make a difference. Ian. I hated him. For ten years. I never knew. It doesn't matter now. How are we looking? Okay, back to the ops room. Let's get the hell out of here.
Dr. Everett? We got it. Well done. Not me. It was all Sam. But the Behavioral Project was your work. Your time. Your expertise. I spoke to Mills. He'll be paid in full. Consider it a retainer. Wait, you're offering me a job? Where? Right here. The Lockwood Estate. So hurry back. We've got a lot of work to do. Does that mean... A helicopter is on the way. Be at the landing pad in one hour. You made a difference, Mia. Your work was exceptional. If I never made that clear, I'm... We'll discuss it when you return. Some difference. I knew what we were creating here. Sideshows for rich people. Weapons for rich monsters. Way to change the world. You know what would help? If we kept Blue far away from there. If that sample was lost for good, sunk to the bottom of the North Pacific, that would make a difference. They want blue. Mills can gamble his own life, have his own plane attacked by... Shit. The Pteranodons. They'll wreck the chopper. We gotta do something. Scare them, distract them, or... Lure them. That's it. The monorail. Pteranodons are territorial. We can lure them with the train. But we need power. Go to the breaker room. Activate the station. The master switch. Through the door. The center's running on a single generator. This switch will transfer every kilowatt to the monorail and shut down residents in the labs. Once it's pulled, there's no going back. Sorry, the recycling yard. It's kind of exposed, but you're not far. the main yard. You'll want the monorail service elevator. What the? Maybe let's uh, not go outside. 
hide.
master control booth. Keep going, there will be stairs. Tower helicopter Gulf Echo Niner is at 10,000 feet, 70 miles from the southeast coast. Getting a little weather, but RPMs are fine. 30 minutes to coastline. Yeah, I do what he's and the monorail won't distract the pterosaurs forever. You'll need to launch the train the second he hits the coastline. For now, just just head to the platform. It's okay. Just stay quiet. She doesn't know where you are.
platforms through there. You'll need to get power to that shutter. Quietly. Don't make a sound. Downstairs. You want to find service access. Tower, helicopter Gulf Echo Niner is at 10,000 feet, 50 miles east, 21 minutes to coastline. It's enough. Let's go. Is there a more analog 
You'll have to get under and fix them manually. Can you drop the rail? Tower, Gulf Echo Niner is 10 miles east. Four minutes to coastline. Four minutes. Should be good. Hit it. No, 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 no. Ah, you bastard battery. Do not be dead. Uh, um, the management office downstairs. Run!
Gulf Echo Niner is above the east coast and getting some air traffic. Maybe large birds approaching, descending to 3,500. The chopper's hit the mainland. We're out of time. Run! Punch it! Faster, come on! Move! Move! Thank you. 
progress. Okay, I'm in main observation. Where are you? Oh, shit. That's real security. He's not wrong.
descending to 900 feet. Five minutes to final approach.
Dispatch. Vital car. T's and P's are green. Skies are clear. Ascending to 1800 and departing out the northwest route. Hey, back there. Look, I... I'm sorry about your friend. Whatever you found, I hope it was worth it. It was right then I knew I wanted to be a genetic engineer. Knowing that a life, even an unremarkable one, can leave an impression. Inspire hope. This was always a rescue. She's finally coming home. We don't have the luxury of knowing where our decisions will lead. But do me a favor. Destroy that sample. Send it to the bottom of the North Pacific. Don't let them have it. Don't make it easy. Girl in Montana. <laughs>